Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias St. Teotihuacan Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, December 16th, 2023, and here are the readings for today. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 16 through 23. Brethren, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe, according to the working of his great might which he accomplished in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and made him sit at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. Let us be attentive. At that time, one Sabbath, when Jesus went to dine at the house of a ruler who belonged to the Pharisees, they were watching him. And behold, there was a man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they were silent. Then he took him and healed him and let him go. And he said to them, Which of you, having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well, will not immediately pull him out on a Sabbath day? And they could not reply to this. Now he told a parable to those who were invited, when he marked how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a marriage feast, Do not sit down in a place of honor, lest a more eminent man than you be invited by him, and he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give place to this man. And then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So again, in today's gospel, we have this ongoing debate between our Lord and the Pharisees, who apparently seem to be concerned about the violation of Sabbath rules. They pay attention to certain Sabbath rules and rules in the Torah, but they are completely ignorant of others, especially when those rules apply to themselves. So our Lord, our Lord is very good at picking out the hypocrisy that exists within the Pharisees. They say it is illegal to heal somebody on the Sabbath day. But they say this because they themselves are incapable of healing anybody. So our Lord, who has the ability to heal and does so quite regularly, including on the Sabbath, points out the fact that they are completely oblivious to the ways that they themselves transgress the Sabbath rules. And so he highlights it. Which of you, he asks, would leave his son or an oxen in a ditch if they fall into it? All, of course, would do the work necessary to deliver their son or an ox from its ditch. So our Lord demonstrates that they are more than willing to break the Sabbath rules if it appeals to them, but they are equally more than willing to point out when someone else violates it, regardless of what they themselves do. 
this, in many ways, is the epitome of hypocrisy. Our Lord then points out this other story in this gospel, where he talks about how to be conducting oneself when at a banquet. He says, don't immediately sit in a high place because you yourself might be replaced by someone who has a greater rank or dignity than yourself. Sit rather at a low place and then be invited to move up. This, in many ways, is illustrious of our Lord's own kenosis. Our Lord is God, and yet he chose to not live as God among us, but rather as a lowly servant. So he himself humbles himself, so that he may be, at a later time, exalted. We, in turn, should do the same. We should seek the path of humility, lowering ourselves beneath everyone else, making ourselves servant of all, so that in the time when it is appropriate, perhaps we will be recognized for our humility. Perhaps our Lord himself will take us and move us from the low place to the high place, to go from humiliated and humbled to being exalted. But that's not up to us. It's up to God. And so our God himself, who takes care of both the rich and the poor, of the meek and the haughty, he takes care of them all. So our Lord, who elevates those of low esteem, will do the same for all who seek themselves. Everyone who is humbled will be exalted. But all who are exalted themselves shall be humbled. And so these are words to live by. Be careful not to be overly arrogant and seek after the accolades of men and women, but seek rather to serve God in meekness and in humility. And when we do so, our God, who takes care of us better than any human being ever could do on their best day, God himself will indeed take care of us. These are words to live by. Humility is the key. Pride brings fall. May God direct our steps and give us the wisdom to live in accordance to his will, seeking his kingdom before all else. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.